Hello miners and crafters and welcome to episode 33 on the Bowcraft server. I'm Bergen Brum. As you can see we are in the overworld for most of this episode. Well, sort of overworld. We're going to start in the overworld. Well there's some thunder. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first. I did a bit of patching off camera and I managed to get a gust into our do so I'll show some footage of that. So that was an exciting process and I've got some great things planned for the food. I've done a little bit of work on the stream already, but we are going for sort of a nether. So what we need is those pretty nether blocks, those wood, which also happens to be which also happens to be part of our plans. Let's go up to our board. Up there. Go through here. Up we go. And over to our board. So we do have a nether wood buff. This is what we're going to be making this episode. So I thought what a better place to do it other than near our portal on the roof. So let's go up and we can sort of grab some blocks and plan out where that is. Okay miners and crafters, so here we are on the nether roof. So our gold farm is over here so I feel like what a great place to do it. It might go, go in well with Queenie's build over there. What a better place to do it than right near here, right near our gold farm, that way we might be able to play it. Hey, okay. nether wood, and also get some gold while we're at it and never run out of gold. So, this is what we're going to need. First of all, we're going to need probably like a 7x13 base, so. Five. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap, so one. Uh, we might do it this way, might do it this way a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twelve, thirteen. By seven. We'll, we'll, we'll leave thirteen blocks in. What? One, two, three, five, six, seven. And that one. There we go, so we go one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, and we'll yes, we'll just fit that in there. So that is going to be that's going to be our space for the fungus farm. So the actual wood farm won't take up that much space. I think this is going to be a perfect area. So we like on this side. So what we're going to need. We'll leave a little bit of space. We'll probably leave like one, two, five, seven. We'll probably leave like seven blocks. That I think that'll be perfect. So we'll go like one, five, six, eight, seven, two. Yeah, we'll, we'll plan it as long as, as long as that one. We'll plan it as long as that one. It'll a bit of room to build around and stuff like that. Make it pretty. So we'll probably only need. Five, I think maybe that much more, and that sort of like even though I didn't bring enough glass, 
that sort of gives us an idea of the size of our farms that we're going to build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the replay mod and end them in up there. But what we're going to do is jump into the replay mod and have a look at building. Okay, miners and crafters, so here we have the outline for our fungi farm. Let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making sort of like a circle. So it's going to be pretty, pretty wide and it's going to be about, I think this is about nine blocks long. So we'll put those there, along here, break that glass, and chuck these blocks along. This is going to be where a redstone clock is going to be. So obviously what we're going to need to do is just connect that all the way around. Then we're going to go seven from the left hand side. And place a block. This is where we're going to have a sticky piston. This sticky piston is going to be a switch. So we need it to put a block up and down. Obviously I've put this too low. So you'll see I will fix that up. We put a lever on and that works fine. So next we're going to need repeaters in this Pattern. This is going to help make our clock. We're going to put them on two tick delays as well. And we're going to connect all those up with redstone. And then when we put the lever on and off, it'll trigger that. So we need an observer facing into that piston and a block coming out so it will get that signal from the observer next we're going to put observers on the side facing the redstone clock and they're going to detect the changes or the flashes in that redstone next we're going to come up we're going to do seven over now this is so we can use that pulse from the observers for the pistons. So we're going to connect that up with the redstone. And now what we can do is put our pistons on. Now you can see I put seven on but we actually need six and it's on the far side, so the side away from the lever. We need that one missing on the one closest that uh, you'll see you'll see that we can put our crimson or our green warped nihilium over and this is where i realized it doesn't look right so i fix this up and that looks a lot better we're going to just put the blackstone around so that we make that look nice and there'll be no drops going off the side make sort of like a skeleton of where we want some stairs to go gonna jump up here and put some glass barriers around now we can use blackstone and finish that off so that none of the drops fall out obviously we'll need one side for us to go in Next we're going to put a dispenser facing up. I've used two in the end and just use that redstone clock to trigger that. Obviously like that doesn't work so I needed to put that block one up and that works fine. So next we need some hoppers going into it. Not this way because that will lock it with the redstone pulse so we have it coming off the back put some chests up there and this is where our bone mill is going to go so having a bone mill farm will be very 
useful with this and we can call this farm done so after we did that miners and crafters i just made it look a little bit pretty i've put the black stone around put some different types of black stone just for different texture i think it looks really cool i've put a load of chests up there so i can just chuck in the top all the bone meal that we're gonna need and we've made this because we need the fungus we need the fungus for our tree farm so this tree farm is going to be really similar to just a simple one you might have seen the design before it simply just pretty much bone mills it kind of like the tree farm we did in the episode in the card except a little bit more simpler so I've also put these bars and the soul lights around. I think they look really cool. And they sort of just add the touch that we are in the nether. Um, this light is what's stopping things from spawning up here. So this is only too high so ghasts can't spawn up here. And these are bottom slabs so nothing can spawn there. I've put the carpet on there to stop them. That's got a lever above it, so that's what's stopping anything spawning on there. These are obviously stairs, so nothing spawns there. And those bars obviously aren't the full block, so nothing's gonna spawn there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build this farm. We'll do a time lapse of it, and I'll come back and we can decorate it. Okay, miners and crafters, so here we have sort of a little bit of a layout of where we're going to have our tree farm. It's going to be a few blocks above and we're going to put some warped or crimson nylium up there. This is where our trees are going to grow, so we need a dispenser pointing into there. We're going to have a hopper pointing into there and a chest going into there so we can put our bone meal into it. Of course, this is a very simple one. We're going to have an observer that will trigger that, but we want to make it a switch. So we're going to make it one over. And then we're going to want an observer on the bottom to finish that observer clock that we're going to use. Next we want a sticky piston to make that switch. We're going to have it facing into this observer so when it's pulled back it'll switch on. And then we're going to put a block there that we're going to put a lever on that we can turn on and off. I can get rid of the outline. Line back up and we're going to chuck some blocks there. This is where we're going to put sort of like a redstone block looking like this. Going to get back up there, put a comparator coming out. That's where the tree is going to grow, so it's going to trigger this block. Put a few bits of redstone dust there. Repeat is going out on one two and four and another repeater on four ticks in front of that link all these up with redstone leading into the piston so then we're going to put a slab so we're half a block down and we're actually going to end up putting the lever on so there we have it miners and crafters as you can see i've also decorated it a little bit what i've done is i've placed some iron bars around to give it sort of like that nether feel a little bit scary let's head up here 
what I've done here is this should be be working. No, that didn't work. But these were the red blocks, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go get some red crimson blocks so I can keep them in a chest or something like that instead of just putting them down because they turn into netherrack. So I've put the stairs up here. I've put carpet down to spawn proof it. These are all bottom slabs so they should be fine. That sort of like that should be fine. And up here this all should be spawn proof. So let's see what we do. We've got bone meal in there. What we do is we start by coming over here, we turn this on, we grab some fungus, let's turn that off, grab what fungus is left there, we'll come down here, what we do is chuck that in that hand, obviously we'll have you know a lot more fungus, but what we do, we grab this, we'll grab the green one because that's what we need because we've got green soil we chuck that on there turn the lever on we do that there we go like that just plant it and off we go that's as simple as you get and as you can see i got like seven off there it'll be it'll be fine for what we need let's chuck that back in there You'll be fine for what we need so there is one more thing that I want to show you before is we've done a little bit of work in the overworld on stream and a little bit off camera so let's head into the overworld and I will show you that okay miners and crafters it's not inside our base but it's just outside our base so let's go into that and have a look Okay, miners and crafters, so as the sun comes up, this is what we've done. We've made a creeper pie! A pie under the sauce bottle, because I thought, hey, you know what? It needs something. It needs something. So I'm going to be working on this sort of like a little bit off camera, but mostly on stream. So make sure you check out the description for my Twitch. And we're going to be making this place beautiful. I'll probably end up demolishing that village since all the villages are gone. We've used them all. So what we need to do is we're going to end up lighting up this place as well. Chuck some glowstone or whatever, whatever we feel like. Also, one more thing, one more thing is down here. I had a lot of cactus and a lot of sugar cane so what I've done is I've built glass around here and I've just chucked some composters down and that is giving me even more bone meal I've put you know some extra chests in here for storage and let's see over here we'll take a look under the sugar cane farm there you go you can see it coming in and we'll go through here and I've done the exact same thing a couple of composters for more um, some chests let's head out and that is what we've done so far let's grab this trident there we go so that is how the overworld and the nether is coming along I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you hit that like button so we can help beat the algorithm and that subscribe button until next time have fun mining crafting and exploring bye bye